Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla's full self-driving regulation process to be further examined by California DMV. Tesla Q4 and FI 2021 earnings call, set for January 26, Musk expected to share product roadmap update. Tesla stocks up on Model 3 Aero and Model Y Gemini wheel covers. And, critical Tesla heat pump fixes, coming in new software update. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. The California Department of Motor Vehicles is further examining the regulation process of Tesla's full self-driving beta program to determine whether it could be held under the DMV's autonomous vehicle regulations. The regulations apply to other automakers that are attempting to develop autonomous vehicles, including Waymo, Cruise, and Zooks. According to a report from the Los Angeles Times, the California DMV is reviewing whether Tesla's full self-driving beta program should be included in the grouping of companies that test their products on public roads. Tesla was excluded from the grouping previously because the functionality requires a human driver. Tesla maintains that its cars are not fully autonomous and that humans must remain attentive at all times. However, on January 5, the California DMV told Tesla that it would revisit the potential inclusion of the automaker into the Autonomous Vehicle Testing Regulations program. It would require Tesla to report all system failures and accidents to the California DMV, which other companies in the program are already required to do. The potential inclusion seems to indicate that there are several reasons for Tesla's potential inclusion to the regulations, including NHTSA investigations. Recent software updates, videos showing dangerous use of that technology, open investigations by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, and the opinions of other experts in this space, prompted the re-evaluation, the DMV said in the letter to Lena Gonzalez, a senator from Long Beach, California. The beta program is limited, and Tesla only allows drivers with a safety score of 98 or higher to receive the exclusive updates. Even still, some of the users with scores this high haven't been included in the beta program, as Tesla is still being extremely cautious regarding its rollout. Concerns about some of the FSD beta program's capabilities have prompted immediate updates from Tesla. For example, October's 10.3 FSD release provided dysfunctional and inaccurate forward collision assist warnings when no threat was there in reality. Tesla issued an update to fix the bug less than 24 hours later. Tesla does report safety statistics but is not since Q2 2021. Statistics for that time frame included one crash every 4.41 million miles, driven with autopilot technology, which includes auto steer and active safety features. Drivers who did not use autopilot recorded a crash once every 1.2 million miles driven. NHTSA data says there is one accident in the United States for every 484,000 miles driven. Moving to the next update, Tesla's Q4 and FY 2021 earnings call, set for January 26, Musk expected to share product roadmap update. Tesla will hold its Q4 and full-year 2021 earnings call on Wednesday, January 26, 2022. As usual, Tesla will send out a brief advisory before the call with a link to a Q4 and full-year 2021 update. The live question and answer webcast will start at around 4.30 p.m. Central Time or 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. In November 2021, Elon Musk also stated he would provide an updated product roadmap at the Q4 and FY 2021 earnings call. Tesla still has a few products customers are eager to know more about, particularly the Cybertruck and Semi. For example, PepsiCo is expected to receive its first batch of Tesla Semi deliveries at the end of this month. Musk might provide a more solid time frame for Semi deliveries and Tesla's progress on Class 8 trucks production at the upcoming earnings call. As for the Cybertruck, Tesla had previously stated that it already produced a few alpha prototypes of the all-electric pickup. A few people have already spotted the Cybertruck alpha prototypes in the wild a few times. Tesla reported, producing 305,840 vehicles during Q4 2021. 
it delivered a total of 308,600 cars in the fourth quarter. Tesla made a total of 930,422 cars in 2021. It was very close to achieving 1 million deliveries last year, with a total of 936,172 vehicles. A Tesla product roadmap would provide details on the company's plans moving forward. 2022 is likely to be a big year for Tesla, especially considering its plans to produce vehicles at Giga Texas and Giga Berlin. Giga Shanghai also plans to increase production capacity with a $188 million expansion project. Moving to the next update, Tesla stocks up on Model 3 Aero and Model Y Gemini wheel covers. Tesla has rolled out some updates to its official online shop, with the company recently posting listings for spare Aero and Gemini wheel covers for the Model 3 and Model Y respectively. Tesla's Aero wheel covers in the online shop are for the Model 3's 18-inch wheels. At $25 a piece, the Aero covers for the Model 3 are reasonably priced. The same is true for the Model Y's Gemini wheel covers, which are compatible for the vehicle's 19-inch wheels and cost $35 per piece. Customers who wish to order a Tesla Model 3 Aero wheel cover are advised to be specific about their order, as pre-refresh and refreshed versions of the vehicle have slightly different Aero wheel cover designs. The new Aero wheel designs were rolled out in October 2020, together with a number of updates for the Model 3. The addition of spare Aero and Gemini wheel covers for the Model 3 and Model Y in the Tesla shop would likely be appreciated by electric vehicle owners. This is because wheel covers tend to get scuffed and scratched over time. In more extreme cases, some even end up being lost or stolen. The Model 3's Aero wheels and the Model Y's Gemini wheels are particularly popular among Tesla buyers since they are designed to maximize range and comfort. They also come as the default option for the vehicles with larger wheels, like the Model 3's Sport wheels and the Model Y's Induction wheels, costing more. Moving to the last update, critical Tesla heat pump fixes, coming in new software update. Tesla has started deploying their latest software update, 2021.44.30.6, to its internal employee cars and also to some owners recently. The first download was spotted by Update Tracker Teslascope on a Model S Plaid in Florida recently. Although the official release notes are not yet available, but according to sources, it contains fixes for the recent heat pump failures in extreme cold temperatures. The company has a specific list of VINs for cars in colder climates that will be prioritized for this release. There were reports where heat pumps have been failing and producing no heat in temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees centigrade. Tesla has taken the issue very seriously, shipping parts from affected cars across the country to engineers in California to try and determine the cause of the failures, which they now believe can be fixed with a software update. According to sources, Tesla has classified the fixes as critical and after being tested on employee cars, will be prioritized for vehicles in colder climates. If all goes well with testing, the public release of 2021.44.30.6 should happen in the next few days. For those enrolled in FSD beta in colder climates, these fixes will arrive with FSD beta version 10.9, which is also expected to roll out soon. This software fix may however be just a temporary one. In a lengthy Twitter thread recently, Trevor Page from Tesla Owners Online relayed some information from the Saskatchewan Tesla Owners Club received from a technician at Tesla Saskatoon. According to the information, one of the observed causes is the front air intake flap freezing in the open position. This allows extremely cold air to enter the system, preventing the heat pump from operating normally. The cold air passes a sensor, which tells the climate system it is failing, and the compressor stops. This software update should tell the system to keep working, despite those error messages, until Tesla can figure out a way to prevent this issue from occurring in the first place. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.